Um, yeah, do a little, do a little jig. Switch it up a little bit. A little jig? Whatever you got. Yeah. I don't know. It was, yeah. Pretend like you just had cancer and you just got kissed. By you. <laughs> da, 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 da. Kiss from a rose. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. All right, cool. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Episode 27. I'm your host, Chris, my co-host, David. And to Steve Martin, Halle Berry, Magic Johnson, Mia Kunis, and Tim Tebow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's make some poor choices. Subscribe. Damn, I could smell that coming off the elevator. Woo. I like it. Yeah. Oh, look at the color. Oh, ooh. E. Oh, I didn't even pour it. I just drank right out of it. Dude, it looks ooh. like I was expecting red. Like toxic. Ooh. Mm. It tastes good. Does it? Yeah. Tastes like a sour patch kid. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it does. Not sure I like the color though. I feel like that's how my shit's gonna look tomorrow morning. Even the even the barm tastes good. All right, I want to jump right into this. I have a list of every NFL, MLB, and NBA stadium slash ballpark arena ranked by average review rating on Yelp, Google, TripAdvisor, and Facebook. So you have all those together as one average, or you just have all the Correct. averages? Oh, oh it's all okay. of them together on a list from one to ninety. Wow. Okay. I don't know. Do you want to know which numbers are who? Do you want to? Take a um, guess at numbers. I guess we'll start. Who do you think number one is? I'm going to say it's probably SoFi. It's not SoFi. It's not SoFi. I've, I figured it's going to be some something either new or classic. It's either going to be like a Wrigley Field or like a, a new stadium. Um, it's, it's classic. Think uh, It is classic. Uh, Fenway, uh, Lambo. There you um, go. Lambo. Lambo. Yeah. Okay. Now, can you, can you guess the worst ranked? You can. Uh, FedEx. It is well. Yes, it says Commanders Field. Yeah, is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, One and one and last are very simple. <laughs> yeah, they are the worst. So SoFi is actually ranked eighty fifth on here. Wow. Yeah, it's across um, the four major sports. You said the th- three major sports: baseball, football, and what? Basketball and basketball. No hockey. In yeah. There. Okay. No hockey. Yeah. I guess they share basketball for the most part. Um. Any of them okay. you, you want to know? Um, I think I could probably guess a few top teners, I think. I think. Okay. Let's see if you can hit the top ten. Um, I'm going to say Wrigley. Wrigley is number eight. Fenway. Fenway's number seven. Um, and as we discussed previously, uh, I know we're not uh, too current on some of these, so if you just want to throw a T yeah. out there, that's fine, too. Yeah. Uh, PNC? Uh, PNC is number two, which why wow. do you know that? Um, it's just I've always heard it's a it's like the best baseball field ever. It's like so good. Hmm. Okay. Um, it might be up there. I'm gonna say it's top twenty. I'm gonna say Camden Yards. Camden is number three. Wow, good for them. Yeah, that was that was very surprising. Good for I them. Know it's a nice it's a nice field, but but out of all three sports, wow. Yeah. Good for them. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Um, any new age stadiums in there? Any like Vikings, Falcons? Um, anything new, new? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't okay. know how new. So there's one, two, three more baseball. I don't know okay. how new they are. In the top 10? Yeah. And then okay. there's a basketball and a football. Okay. Um, Three more baseball. How about uh, Yankee Stadium? Not in there. Yankee Stadium no. is 37. 37. Okay. Um, how about where the Rangers play in Arlington? Um, maybe, but it's not. Not them. top 10. Let me see if I can find where they're at. These things are so little. Uh, the Rangers are 67. 67. Okay. Um, Baseball, baseball, baseball. Um, 
um, wherever the Giants play, San Francisco Giants. Yeah, Oracle Park. They're Oracle. number five. Oracle. Uh huh. Um. Oof. Oof. Uh. Yeah. I think I, I'm about tapped out with baseball. Do you just want them? Yeah, give them to me. All right. Number ten is Target Field. That's the Twins. The twins. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And number four is Bush Stadium. Oh Bush. Oh Bush. Oh Bush. Okay. That's the the Cardinals for those mm-hmm. that don't know. Like me, if I was listening, I didn't know. <laughs> Um, football's not expected. You wouldn't Air, think it. Is it Arrowhead? Because it's so uh, old. No. Arrowhead's 38. 38. Um, AFC or NFC? NFC. NFC. Uh, Seattle? It is Seattle. Lumen okay. Fields, number six. Okay. So you just need number nine basketball. Which is bad. Uh, LA? It's also like, a new name. No, not LA. LA is... Where is LA? Is it a good team? Uh, not anymore. I don't think. Okay. I don't know where LA is. Where the fuck is LA? Because it's not the Staples Center anymore. No, it's uh, like Crypto.com Arena or something like that. They're number 26. Um, uh, Minnesota? Not Minnesota. I think they're still good. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. NBA think of, too uh, much. Think of Fag Boy and his little trio. What? <laughs> <laughs> the the self proclaimed goat or king or whatever the fuck he wants to call himself. Oh, is it Cleveland? No, nope. oh. he didn't have his trio there. Oh, Miami. Yeah, mm. it's the Kaseya Center. Hmm. Okay. So, some of these uh, some of these names are kind of weird. Where is um Hard Rock on that list? Because I love that stadium. Um, it's simple. It's such a good stadium. It is, and I love the layout. The seats are great. They're at Not, sixty-two. Yeah. See, I don't agree with that one. Yeah. So some of the other uh, bottom bottom feeders are uh, the Oakland Coliseum. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Allegiant is eighty-eight. Ooh. Ugh. It's weird. It's probably just because it's the Raiders. Yeah. Uh, Levi Stadium for the 49ers, 87. Huh. Um, Paycor, the Bengals at 78. Yeah. Uh, Soldier Field is 72. Wow. So, but yeah, some what? of the, so we have, uh, the Brewers Stadium is called American Family Field. I mean, they do have a slide in left field, which is pretty cool. Okay. So it makes, <laughs> makes sense, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Uh, Dallas is at number 24. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Um, Where's m and Bank? That's what I'm looking for. They're at 34. I mean, not terrible. It's, yeah. that's, I think that's an appropriate rank. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Well, as far as interesting. In a few years, there might be a new number one in Cleveland. Have you seen that? Yeah. We'll they see. Want a, I, th- I think a lot $2 of this. billion dollar dome? I'm just, think of how many, like, how many like one stars, like how many the reviews are like field was great, stadium was astronomical, the fucking lions blow one star. <laughs> so like that's that's why they get that rating. So if that's indicative of uh of Cleveland ratings, yeah. then well they probably won't crack top fifty. Between either building the new one or spending a billion to renovate the current one is from what I read is the current toss up right now. Yeah. Just start, start fresh. Yeah, yeah. Just slap, get a get a clean wipe, duct tape on a piece mm-hmm. of shit. Still a piece of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I mean, it's exciting for if you're a Browns fan, but yeah, uh, if you, you know. go often, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to. If you're one of those there. people that has false hope, like ah, this is our year. We got our new stadium, new team. We have our forty yeah. seventh different jersey and quarterback. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. every year it seems now they change that shit. Uh huh. It really does. Mm. It doesn't look good any of the years. No, it's brown. No. It looks like shit. It's just <laughs> like putting different clothing on a turd. Uh, um, Bastards. yeah. Uh, I I actually had the Browns dome in my notes. So I'm glad that you brought up stadium to start out with. So I thought that Browns pretty, dome. Browns dome. Is that like the toilet? <laughs> no, that's the new stadium. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I think that's the note I wrote. Is like Browns dome. Oh, hmm. I think that's called a blumpkin. 
Brownstone? Yeah. Huh. I'm I'm going with toilet. That, I don't know who that makes toilet. Put you deep but... in thought. You went. Huh. Yeah. 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 What about? I don't know. I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's. Uh, Try to think of like uh, what did you have in your in your notes last week? Poop poop highway. I had poop yeah, highway. Just, just poop stadium then, written down for. Poop dome, Browns. Yeah, poop um, dome, and then the week before that, instead of beater, <laughs> I wrote neater. Neater, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> when I, I was I was listening to the episode today, and uh, we're on a pretty good stretch of consecutive episodes not knowing how to pronounce a word. It was the uh, I mean the that's fa- the fast money? It was like tome or tome or whatever. That we're at like six in a row where. One of us doesn't know how to fucking say something. I've never been good at English. It's never been, and you know this just from the spelling bees that we've had on here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just that's not. True. I mean, that's story of my life. Not knowing how to pronounce something. Typically, I'm pretty good, but I don't. It's just the alcohol doesn't help. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure don't. Um, well, yeah. it does, but it doesn't. It ha- yeah, 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 yeah. A thousand percent. Do you want to play a game? Let's play a game. Okay. I'm gonna need some things from you, and you just. uh you just give them to me. Raj. Cool. Why don't you give me uh, two adjectives, David? Moist. Mm. And rough. How about a noun? Mm. Penis. Nice. Uh, how about an adjective again? Circular. Circular. Uh, an article? Can you elaborate? No, I wish I could. Let me see. Yeah, re- read it through and give me a uh, what's that word? Context. I did it. Stand by. An article is an adjective. Like adjectives, articles modify nouns. English has two articles: the and a slash an. The is used to refer to specific or particular nouns. A uh, slash an is used to modify non-specific or non-particular nouns. Okay, then the. Cool. <laughs> Uh, a verb in the past tense. Blumkind. Uh, another noun? Vagina. How about a verb uh, present tense ending in ing? Um, groping. It's going to be really funny when I give you the title to this uh, <laughs> to this little How to, mad how to save here. the lives of children. Uh, a verb base form? Mm, rrr, jerk. Okay. Uh, part of the body. Mm, fupa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another verb. Swallow. Uh, an adjective ending in L-Y. Blissfully. Bliss. Uh, part of the body. Big toe. Uh, a size. Extra medium. <laughs> another part of the body. <laughs> <laughs> Earlobe. Uh-huh. How about an adjective? Mm, disgusting. A verb base form? Yak. A verb past tense? Hawk to it. <laughs> an adjective? Mm, distasteful. Mm. And a verb past tense? Uh, a verb past tense? Lived. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the title of this Mad Lib is I Pooped on My Girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Now how do you uh how do you play this? I'm just gonna read it to you. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was something that read it to us or <laughs> let's hear it. Okay. I pooped on my girlfriend. It was a moist night. She and I were about to get rough. She came into our penis wearing a circular, the outfit that covered only enough to leave a little to the imagination. She blumpkinded me back onto the vagina and began groping my chest (laughs) trailing down to my nether regions then she stopped and told me to jerk on top of her (laughs) (laughs) she wanted me to fupa swallow her (laughs) blissfully I agreed and positioned myself over top of her big toe in position I slipped between her extra medium (laughs) earlobe it felt so disgusting I quickly neared my climax when suddenly I realized I'd eaten Taco Bell for lunch that day 
at the same time as my yak, I promptly hawked to it all over her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so distasteful in my life. She began gagging profusely and lived me off of her. <laughs> I think she's going to break up with me tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd, uh, safe assumption. Safe assumption. There you go. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Uh, hawk to it. Well, I was going to say, um, we probably have enough sports. Let's stick in the realm of that. And then uh, you went and pooped on your girlfriend, mm. which could be a sport. Mm? Mm? What would you call that sport? Hmm. Poo- just like specifically girlfriends? No, pooping on anybody. What would you call a sport? And what's the object of the game? How do you win? Um. It is a matter of volume that stays on the body because stuff can drip off or fall down. So whoever keeps more at the end on to the person, they weigh it at the end, you win. Okay. I call it shits and giggles. Hmm. Mm. Shits and gaggles. Shits and gaggles. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm about it. Or shits and ladders. <laughs> yeah, shits and ladders. What's that from? That's from something. <laughs> is it? Oh, there's shoots and ladders. Yeah. I was just playing like, off is that. Is it like Ted or like Family Guy or something? Shits. I don't know. I don't know. We can't know. I haven't the faintest idea. What do you have an idea <sighs> about? <laughs> you, can ask, you can ask me again. <laughs> what, what do you have the faintest idea about? Uh, I have the faintest idea about how these NFL teams got their names. Hey. The NFC South. Do you have any guesses on any of them? Uh, let's see. Panthers. Um, I'm going to say Panthers is my favorite one. Oh, I was going to say it was a voter voter thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that. People voted on it. Well, we'll start there. Okay. So for the Panthers, instead of a fan poll, the name Panthers was chosen by team president, Mark Richardson, son of owner, Jerry Richardson, who said Mm -hmm. it's a name. Our family thought signifies what we thought a team should be powerful, sleek, and strong. Nice. The NFL worried that a Panthers nickname, along with the black color scheme, would appeal to street gangs and potentially reflect poorly on the NFL. They even Mm -hmm. sent a letter to the Richardsons in 1993 telling them such, as well as suggesting that the team go with rhinos instead. The (laughs) rhino is a large, powerful creature, fierce when provoked, with, (laughs) with a skin that is almost a natural version of football pads. That's what the letter said. Yeah, the Rhinos is a create a Madden team team name. Yeah, that's not a real. Yeah, that's bad news. Yeah, so um, I thought that was. Uh, yeah, that is good. <laughs> that's better than most. Well, the story. I mean, they chose it, but the story behind it, like, hey, uh, you sure you guys want to do that? Mm-hmm. That's that's the that's the good part. So, um, I gotta say, Falcons. Maybe the that's the state bird of Georgia. I don't know. Uh, maybe I would have. Uh-huh. Assumed like a flying peach or something, but <laughs> yeah. So for the Falcons, when a contest was held to name the team, several suggested Falcons, but there was one specific entrant who was declared as the winner, Julia Elliott. The reason was because of what she wrote, which was the Falcon is proud and dignified with great courage and flight. It never drops its prey. It is deadly and has a great sporting tradition. Hmm. Okay. Also good. So, good. Solid. But not good. Another dumb vote yeah so well i think the other two are a little more kind of what's going on in their areas like buccaneers you know lots of pirates down in the caribbean and all that good stuff yeah so from the the gulf for the buccaneers in the early 19th century florida's western coast was constantly invaded by a spanish pirate gasparilla the franchise chose a name from a huge list related to the local pirate legend and decided on the buccaneers Today, a festival is held annually in January, which celebrates the Gasparilla Pirate Invasion. Hmm. So it, it's cool, but it's like, hey, this dude used to fuck us up like a lot. Let's name our team after him <laughs> and have a once a year celebration. Yeah. yeah. Was that every year? That, we'll celebrate that, that, that time that, we got destroyed. Was I there in January and we were looking at like that pirate parade? The parade, yeah. Is that what that was? Mm hmm. Okay. Twas. Okay, okay. Um, and then the Saints, I would have to say, has to go with the the French. Uh, <clears throat> did Riviera? the French? Ha- 
the French discovery and you know the that's like the what's it called the floor de la the de la what's that symbol called crap floor de lis floor de lis that's French it is and you're that's what you're I'm you're there okay it's a a little cooler than that okay. <laughs> The name Saints was picked as New Orleans has a large population of Catholics, and it only seemed fitting to name the team after All Saints Day holiday, which was the day the franchise became official on November oh. 1st, 1966. So, I didn't think oh, they'd been cool. around that long, 66. I didn't either. Wow. That's why I had to, that was my little, like, uh, what does that say? 19. Wow. Like, is that 1996? That sounds more accurate. Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> so not bad. Not a bad division. Better than a. Uh, most of them. I'd say yeah. all, all around that was uh, better than the others. Individually, yes. they weren't quite as cool as some of the others, but on the whole, Preparation H <laughs> does feel good. does feel good. <laughs> on the whole. <laughs> yeah. So with that, let's move into our all-time NFC South draft, which you go first this time. I do. And I'm... Kind of happy about that because I don't even know where I would start. Yeah. Um, I, I've, I'm just going to go with what I planned, and we'll see if it follows that suit. Depending on who you pick, we'll see. Okay. All right, so with my first pick um, at wide receiver, I'm going to go Julio Jones, number one. Okay. All right, with my first pick, I'll go running back Christian McCaffrey for the Panthers. Mm, that's a good one. All right, it's a good one. Um, number two, I'm going tight end Greg Olson for the Panthers. I like it. Quarterback's tough. Mm hmm. Cause there's popular vote and then there's who I would start a team with. Yeah. Yeah. And I think with that, with my second pick, I'm going to take Michael Vick at quarterback. Mm. He was my Falcon QB. Um, all right, third pick. I'm actually going to go running back, um, and I am going to go. I'm going to go Mike Allstott, Buccaneers. That was my other one. Mm -hmm. I almost went Deuce, but I'm going Mike. Yeah, go big Mike. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, with my third pick, I'm going to take tight end Jimmy Graham for the Saints. Nice. Second time you've drafted Jimmy. It is. <laughs> okay. Well, with my fourth pick at quarterback, I'm also going Saints. Mr. 5-6 himself, Drew Brees at quarterback. I like it. Oh, fuck. Right row. I was about to take a receiver of a team I've already picked. Right row. Right row. Who uh, do you got left? Uh, Buccaneers. I think, I think I'm, I'm stuck with that. So with my last pick, I'm going to go with wide receiver Mike Evans. Oh. The Buccaneers. I thought you might go like Keyshawn or Joey or something. Uh, Joey wasn't there long enough. Keyshawn crossed my mind, but Mike Evans on like what nine years with over a thousand Thousands. yards. Yeah. So. Well, I actually switched my. I was gonna go Deuce and then Tom Brady, but yeah, I thought I, had, I thought I thought about it and I went nah. I had you know Deuce. we're gonna get eaten up alive for not picking Tom Brady, right? Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> when when people look up the stats and they and they see how high the Bucks defense was ranked, then come at us. Well, and then take all of our picks stats in their career in the NFC South compared to Tom Brady's career in the NFC right. South. We're yeah. taking all time NFC South. Right. Right, right, right. I'm pretty sure Vic outnumbers Brady by like a hundred dog Shit. fights to none. So I bet Cam Newton out outnumbers Tom Brady in the in dog South. fights. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah. dog fights. Oh, dog fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That too. Although, how many convictions you got, Tom? Right, right. No, just one divorce. Oh, yeah. Michael Vick never been to. Well, maybe I don't know. Mm. I shouldn't say that without fact checking. <laughs> so I ended with Drew Brees, Mike Allstott, Julio Jones, and Greg Olson. Damn, I like it. I did not I think, think I was going to have three white guys on my team. <laughs> <laughs> after your quidditch team was uh significantly darker than that as dark as it could possibly be i think yeah <laughs> yeah i think i think you might have won i ended up with vic uh-huh christian mccaffrey uh-huh mike evans and jimmy graham i mean your backfield is fast as shit yeah yeah <laughs> i'm i'm taking i'm 1000 percent taking my team in a madden game yeah but in real life, I don't know. Yeah, I so, think I was, and I'm, they're both and really I'm sure, good. 
they are good. I, I I'm sure we won't get an answer. We'll just get how the fuck did you not take Tom Brady? Uh, no, it's just going to be TB12 with six question marks. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm gonna say motherfucker's not even better than Peyton. I'm gonna say fuck Tom Brady. Yeah, fuck Tom Brady. Um. So yeah, I got some of the weirdest superstitions in sports for you, David. Okay. Um. Do you want to start? There's 30 of them. Do you want to start maybe 10 on down kind of thing? Maybe we do 10 a week. Okay. Starting start, at 30. I'll start at 30. Um. But before you do that, are there without? I'm sure you've already looked at the list, but is there any that like come to mind for you? Um, weird superstitions. No, not really. I used to, I remember not not super, maybe just like habit. So the the first thing that comes to mind for me is Gilbert Arenas is free throw. It's always like dribble, dribble behind the back three times, dribble and then shoot. Okay. Okay. I do remember for whatever reason, as a kid, like putting like a penny in my sock when I play basketball. I don't know if I had like heard that it's good luck or something or. Mom probably uh, told you that it helps yeah. you not shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Copper is a it's a natural diet. It's a natural uh, stomach Anti- diuretic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. antacid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna hit you with. Um... Hey, give me uh, give me thirty to twenty one, and then okay, we'll do twenty to eleven next week, and then after that, eleven to one. I love it. So number thirty is gonna be Numar Garcia Para, who played with his batting gloves, like played in the field. Um, okay. And tapped his toes before every pitch. Really? I don't remember him doing that. Uh, he moved his bat in windmill like fashion towards while alternating tapping his toes. There you go. Okay. Uh, Serena Williams will not change her socks once during a tournament. How long are those tournaments? I think they can last quite a while. Um, like, like a week. Let's see what it says in the. Let's see. Wearing a pair of socks more than once feels incredibly gross. It's not good for health of your feet. Uh, if one does only go down the corner store to get on a bar, Williams doesn't mind that feeling. In fact, she really likes it. She will only wear a single pair during any given tournament. Hmm. How bizarre. So we don't know. Do, 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 yeah. do, do, do. Remember go. every fucking episode. <laughs> I think this one you might know. Um, could you think of anything Michael Jordan did? Uh, like pregame or... Um, he, it's something he wore while he played. Mm. No, all I can all I can think of is uh, the Michael's secret stuff that Bugs Bunny <laughs> made. Well, there's also a reference to um, this article of clothing in the movie too that he needs that Daffy has to go into the house to get for him his shoes yeah. and something else. Uh... Shoes, check. <laughs> ah, what was it? It's not what was on the mantle, was it? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's an article of clothing. Upper body, lower body. Lower. It's jock strap. It is it's close. It's his um he always wears he always wore his UNC shorts under his NBA shorts. Hmm. You remember okay. he always, he said what did he say in the way? He's like, Don't forget my shorts. Yeah, something it's been so long. I need to watch that again. Same. To wa- I need to watch it to to wash that LeBron version out of my mouth, out of my eyes. I'm actually so they have a picture of him, and you can see him just barely. He's jumping up, like cutting underneath, like showing yeah. underneath his Bulls shorts. Yeah, ah, uh, good for him. Even though Jordan had reason for longer shorts, fellow NBA players. Eh, anyways, and whatever. All right, um, <laughs> this one's not that crazy. Yeah, big old dick. But number twenty seven is Brian Erlacher eats two chocolate chip cookies before every game. Uh, I think Chad Johnson has McDonald's before, or had yeah. McDonald's before. He's, I think he said he used to eat a Big Mac before every game. Yeah, he might be on the list. I didn't read through the whole thing. Um, oh, okay, well, don't. Cookie Monster of the Midway. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, but 67th on the um, stadium Yelp review list. Yeah. All right, a guy you've never heard of, Ed, Ed Bell Four. Looks like a hockey player. Uh, didn't let his teammates touch any of his equipment. Several athletes have a strong sense of pr- uh, propri- propriety. <laughs> That's that word. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. There it is. <laughs> when it comes to people touching their equipment, uh, he actually threatened people over touching his stuff. Gave them all preemptive warnings. Ever seen you touch my stuff, I'll kill you. Okay. I mean, that's not that 
crazy. Yeah. Just don't touch my shit. Uh, Jerry Tarkanian had to chew on a towel during games. He got something wrong with him? He was a men's basketball coach for college. Um, any, anything anyone ever want to talk about was his towel while coaching a game uh, that took place in sweltering Southern California high school gym. Got fed up with having to constantly go to the water fountain, so he wet a towel and chewed on it to keep his mouth from going dry. Someone need to tell homeboy they got these things called water bottles. There's a picture of this dude just chomping on a towel. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Okay. Okay. Um, number four, Karan Butler used to drink several ounces of Mountain Dew before every game. See, that's not that crazy. It's not, and it's also not that smart. That's like the opposite of yeah. Like yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Twenty three. Steve Klein, pitcher for the Giants, never washed his hat. Okay gross but yeah i get it yeah uh number 22 mike bibby clips his fingernails during timeouts for the heat how uh how fast they grow yeah okay Uh uh-huh um and 21 larry walker loves the number three larry walker is right up there with ken griffey barry bonds is one of the Best five tool players in the nineties, MVP. Why was he so successful? Larry thinks it's due to the number three. He wore the number thirty-three his entire career, made sure the phone company gave him a number with as many threes as he could get, and he would only wake up at thirty-three past the hour. Walker even got married on November third at three thirty three PM. Why not March third? Ooh. Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. Get what it together, doing? man. We'll yeah, write him. Jesus we'll write him a letter. Christ. We'll let him know he yeah. fucked up. At Larry Walker. <laughs> Why didn't get dumbass. you? Why didn't you get married in the third month? Yeah, <laughs> even I got married in the third month, dumbass. <laughs> and uh, that's ten. Cool. We'll do twenty through eleven on the next one, and hopefully they're better. Something keeps shaking. Desk. Is it your desk? I'm gonna have to do a lot of image stabilization because I'm shaking the desk. <laughs> Fucking earthquake. <gasps> Oh, speaking of earthquakes, I just watched a classic movie. You've probably seen this movie. I even watched it in school. I don't know if it was at Central or if it was when I was at Westminster. Old James Bond in the volcano. Dante's Peak. Mm. Nope. Oh, okay. Wasn't a Central. Hmm. Hmm. I remember I had to get a permission slip. That's all I remember. Uh, we had to get one for Saving Private Ryan in what the high fuck school. What did you watch that in? High school? History. Yeah. Like nine. What? Who showed you that? Uh, if you can name some ninth grade history teachers. They showed you Saving Private Ryan? Yep. We had to get. Oh, fuck. We had to get. Why a, wasn't I in that class? Uh, you're probably a lot smarter than me in high school. Doesn't say much for Mandy Rambali because she was in that class. So I guess she's an idiot too. E- e- but she could dance. Dance, dance. I want to dance with dance. somebody. Oh, uh, that was a better, better reference. Kayla texted me and said, that's you. And I said, what is? She said, I don't know. All I heard is big old dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, could that, that was, be me, Kayla? <laughs> I said, that, was, that was Michael Jordan, not me. I that's told her, I said, Chris said that uh, he used to wear his shorts under his shorts. No, sweatpants and, under my shorts. No, 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 not you, Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said, and the, the description said, even though he would have benefited from larger shorts, I said, that's because he got a big old dick. <laughs> you ever seen that um, vacation movie? A Christmas Vacation? No, it's just called Vacation. It came out, like, semi-recently. It's the same family, but it's, um, what's his name? Stu from The Hangover, like the dentist, is, like, the main character. And Chris, no. Hems- Chris Hemsworth is married to his sister. And he's got like he walks into the bedroom and just his boxers and it's like his outline of his dick is all the way down to his knee. <laughs> uh, it sounds like half familiar, but also not. Okay, okay, it's not great, but it's that's no. that's the movie I was watching that had the kiss by a rose in it and ah uh, a big dick in it and big old dick, big old dick, <laughs> big old dick. Now I got that damn dance dance stuck song in my. Stuck song in my head? Song stuck in my head. Stuck, stuck song. I got I got fucking da, 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 well. How about your auto tune though? 
so good. Can you auto-tune this? My name's Jolene, and I know that. You know me, and I'm not fat. My name's Jolene, and I'm so pretty, too. I sing this song all day long. You know me, that's not wrong. My name is Jolene, too. Oh, that song was about Belle, though. Shit. Oh, well. Yeah, my name is Belle, and I got butt fat, too. Damn it. That's all right. That's we got, okay. Hey, we got we got the we got the software we need for a whole album. Da 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 da. Squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to do an episode that's just uh just us just singing. That's Every it. time I go outside, I look for the squirrels. Ooh, Ooh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's a kiss, kiss from my dad by Squirrel. Uh, licked from the bowl. That will be licked the name from of the it. bowl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's finish up our sports so we can get into the nitty gritty. I was gonna say you're gonna rock on your desk. I want to rock. rock. Oh no. Do, do. Oh no. So you you leaned on it and you're gonna rock on it. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Lean with it, rock. Lean with. Who sings that song? Ooh. Them franchise boys. Okay. That's what I was going to guess, but I didn't. Okay. I wasn't confident, so I didn't say it. All right. We have some of the most unbreakable records in sports. We're going to list them and debate whether or not we think they will ever be broken. Absolutely. Um, first one I have is um, the Man of Steel himself, Ricky Henderson, with 1,406 stolen bases. I'm going to say no. No what? I don't think it'll ever be broken. Agreed. Agreed. That's crazy. You know, that's a, it's a it's a bold statement because athletes are only getting bigger, faster, and stronger. This says that a player but, could steal 70 bases for 20 consecutive seasons and still not beat Ricky Henderson. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, 70 times 20. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep there you mm-hmm. go. <laughs> but 21 seasons. Hey, now. Yeah. They got, but you also have to play yeah. 21 consecutive seasons. Right. Yeah. 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 Um next one, which is, this is one of the random ones that I have always known this number is the Man of Steel or no. Yeah. No. This is the I right, so the next one is a number that I've <laughs> <laughs> This next what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> this next one it's also a metal. <laughs> I'm a, okay. <laughs> Iron Man is the Iron Man Cal Ripken. Okay. With 2,632 consecutive games played, playing in every single game for over 16 years. Not a chance anyone breaks that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll ever be broken, but I think it's because of how soft athletes have become. Well, I think and, and how deep benches are in baseball nowadays. I mean... Yeah, well, not... Yeah, okay. So I was going, I guess, any... Whatever the equivalent. But yeah, if... If baseball is anything like basketball, like, you know, there's, there's so many games. Why not sit a guy? Give him some rest. To rest in. Absolutely. Yeah, playoffs coming up, you know. But. Yeah, this is I, no so one. I, I think it, I think it could be broken, but I don't think it ever will no. be broken. This is no one is within 2,000 games of the streak right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, third one I have is Brett Favre, 305 interceptions. Not where I thought you were going with that one. Oh. Um, yeah. Josh Allen will break that probably this year. <laughs> I, I would have broken it in three years in Madden if I would yeah, have Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you think uh, that will be broken? Yeah, I think so. That would take a quarterback 20 consecutive seasons with 15 interceptions and still not top Brett Favre. 15 is not a lot. Yeah, it's that's less true. Than one a game, so. Okay. Okay. Um, next one I have is the Boston. Next one I have is the Boston Celtics eight consecutive championships. No. Yeah. Hard no. Now is that that's just basketball? Uh, yeah. Nineteen fifty nine to nineteen sixty six. Okay. But that's like that's a record across all sports, though. Like eight straight championships. Let's see. Uh, Does that yeah. Make sense. It is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, ah, still, still no. Yeah, definitely sports not. Sports were just 
sports were just different back then. Yep. You had a good team and you kept it and it you wasn't, were, yeah, it wasn't about were, the money or the politics or. Yeah. Well, not just that. It was back then. It was like you had a good team and you were like men amongst boys. Mm-hmm. It was like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Joe DiMaggio, 56 game hitting streak. I think that one will. So the most recent one was 1978. Pete Rose got to 44 games. Um, two Phillies, Chase Utley and Jimmy Rollins, we reached the mid thirties a few years ago, but that's about it. Yeah. Maybe not necessarily anytime soon, but I think that's possible. Okay. Yeah. I think that's first achievable one that we've reached. Yeah. Um, next one is Wilt Chamberlain's 50.4 points per game in one season. No, definitely not. No, that's that. And and that's immediately what I thought of with the, the men amongst boys. That's just like, (laughs) yeah, yeah, no. Um, next one is going to be Wayne Gretzky with 2,857 points in his career. No other hockey player has more than 2000 career points and he's at 2,857. Yeah, I'm going to go with no. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, wow. Hack Wilson, 191 RBIs in one season. No. That's crazy. Yeah, definitely not. Um, the closest were Juan Gonzalez, 157, Manny Ramirez, 165. But that's the, that's the closest anyone's come. Yeah, I'm going to say no. How about uh, Bill Russell with 11 championships? No. Yeah, definitely not. It's just, it's no. <laughs> yeah, no. That's not going to happen. How about uh, Night Train Lane with 14 interceptions in one season? You know, before last year, I would have guessed that the pick sixes record wouldn't have been broken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think yes. I think it's becoming such a pass-happy league that it's bound to happen. Like, soon enough, we'll be at 18 games, you know, five, 600 pass attempts in a year won't be uncommon. I don't know. One person to get 14 interceptions. Not, not only that, but he did it his rookie year. That's impressive. Rookie record, probably. Yeah. Like, how many, how many CBs or even def- any defensive backs have 10 in a season? Probably count on one hand, right? There's probably more than I can count on one hand, but that I can name probably on one hand. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm saying no. I'm saying that that does not happen. Okay. Four, 14. Actually, it'd be 15. 15. In, so that they'd have to get to a, break. Yeah. Basically, interception a game, give or take. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jerry Rice, all time receiving yards, 22,895. I think he, yes. Yeah, it'll be tough, but it'll happen. Like I said, it's con- such a pass happy league that it's eventually going to happen. You know, yeah. I mean, Megatron, if he would have stayed around, I think he would have had a yeah. chance. He would have had a chance to shatter everything, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Buccaneers, 26 consecutive losses. Mm, Probably not. Yeah. That's incredible in itself. That's a full season plus basically a second season. Yeah. If the Browns couldn't beat it by now, then it's probably not going to happen. Or the Lions. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Lance Armstrong, seven consecutive Tour de France victories. I don't know enough about it to speak on it, but I don't either. Probably not. I'll go with this. Says we never made night. Yeah. We never bicycled again. <clears throat> this one says that we may never see a cyclist at three or four. So seven is unthinkable. Well, Lance has a hard enough time seeing two. So. Got it. That was a ball um, joke for those who didn't get it. Speaking of balls, how about <laughs> <laughs> no? This is really good. Speaking of balls, h- how about Barry Bonds? One hundred and twenty intentional walks in one season. <sighs> Probably not. Yeah, definitely not. I think uh, they've cracked down on steroids enough. Yeah, this is someone will struggle to reach thirty in a season. One hundred and twenty. Yeah. Good lord, it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, Cy Young threw seven hundred and forty nine complete games. No. Definitely not. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah. Uh, Johnny no. Unitas had 47 consecutive games with a touchdown pass. Brett Favre got to 36 um, in his second second place. Yeah, I think it will. 
eventually that will happen. Yeah. 48 games in a row throwing a touchdown. Yeah. That's a, that's, that's a hell of a lot. Yeah. That's three seasons of consecutive touchdowns every single game. Yeah. Oof. I think it'll happen. That's tough. That's tough. Um, how about Wayne Gretzky winning nine MVP awards? Uh, the most is second most would be Barry Bonds won seven. I think no, no football players won more than three, and Bill Was- Bill Wathel can fill up one hand amongst basketball players. I want you to Google something for me real quick. Okay. Um, how many MVPs did Peyton Manning win? Because the answer is five. <laughs> five. That's so, fix your, so fix your list. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my list. It's Bleacher Report's list. Uh, well, tell them to fix that. When did that come out? Uh, this came out before he retired. In two, oh God, 2008. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> e. <laughs> so some of these may have been broken. E. Nah, I doubt it. Yeah, probably not. Um, all right, Nolan Ryan threw seven no hitters. Probably not. Okay. I would guess no. Uh, Ron Hunt got hit by 50 pitches in one season. That sounds like bad luck. Mm-hmm. Or bad pitching. Yeah. And that's my list. Okay. Um, I have a lot of them that weren't on there. Okay. Of that are like unbreakable? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I have uh, the Bears, six ties in a season. Six? Yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Um, I have UConn women's basketball. Oh yeah, 111 game win streak. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, Tiger Woods 683 weeks at number one. That's a you question. I don't. I'm gonna say most likely not. No. Okay. Um, I don't know that either. I don't know that either of us. Be able to speak to this, but uh, Rafael Nadal's 14 French Open titles. I know he plays tennis. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. I do stuff with racket. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tom Brady's 98 touchdowns to two different receivers. Whoa. Yeah, probably Breeze's not. Breeze number two at 73. Yeah, I'll say probably not. That's wild. Who are the two? Edelman and... Gronk, maybe? I don't know. I'd have to look that up. Yeah. We'll press. We've been on this one a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the next one is Floyd Mayweather, 50 and 0. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, UCLA, seven NCAA championships in a row. Mm-mm. The second is multiple schools with two. Yeah, hard no. Not even with, uh, what's his name? There. <laughs> oh, Motherfucker with his 10 second pauses. Uh, Deshaun Foster. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's uh yeah, we're in LA. <laughs> yeah, that's did, uh did you watch it? Yeah. Oh god, too funny. Um we have Phelps. Yeah, no. Twenty three gold medals. No, yeah. Okay. So did you see um Katie Ledecky? Yeah. So she's I now did. the women all time Olympic gold out of any country. Michael Phelps is the most gold out of any man, and they're both yeah. both from Maryland. Yeah. Which is awesome. How about it? How about that? Go Terps. Uh, to piggyback on your Barry Bonds, however many in one season, it says Barry Bonds, 688 intentional walks. Yeah, no. To put that in perspective, uh, at the time of this writing, Pujols is second with 316. Oh, my God. And he's uh, retired now, so that's not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, three more. Uh, Cy Young, 511 wins. Ow. 511, let's think. Who's in second, does it say? No. 511. I feel like maybe. Yeah, hard no. <laughs> no. <laughs> hard no. Yeah, some of the names up here, like Greg Maddox is only at 355. Ooh. Yeah, so no. Yeah, big no. Big no, no. All right, then we have Emmett Smith rushing yards, 18,355. <laughs> Definitely not, especially the way that the game's changing. Yeah. And this one, which which is the most mind blowing of all. Okay. Um, the longest boxing match, a hundred and ten rounds. Why? Was over seven hours. Because every round was a, a draw, basically. 
I don't, I don't know. Is that how that how works? It, no idea. What I don't know if it's like fuck. You had to get knocked out. I don't know when it was. All I have is it was Andy Bowen versus Jack Burke. Imagine losing that fight. <laughs> <laughs> like that'd be the worst. Like, ah, fuck every part of that. Yeah, I just quit. Yeah. Man. Mm. Hi everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons, or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. So did they ever uh, defund the police? What does that mean? Remember how after the, I think it was the George Floyd thing, they were like, defund the police. Like, I don't know if they meant like don't pay them or pay them less or... You don't remember that was yeah that was like a yeah, yeah yeah I remember it but um, did they ever, did they ever do it I don't think so I still see a lot of cops <laughs> yeah I don't but it like stopped like you don't hear it anymore yeah I mean no one's maybe, maybe they did and and people were like they started getting like mugged and they were like okay maybe we uh yeah, yeah maybe we need these motherfuckers or it got the police even more upset so they started killing more people and they were like all right fund them again yeah yeah let's pay a neck now they now they make 15 bucks an hour and they're kind of angry so yeah they're using 45s out here like come on yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) uh um do you think they need to reform the police yes why um i just think more it should be one i don't think tenure equals a good in any position, whether it's law enforcement or any any sense of work or anything, tenure doesn't necessarily mean someone should still be doing what they're doing. So I think that's part of it. You get guys that are, that are careers and lifers and they've been in there forever, but they're to the point now where they don't give a shit and they're just not taking shit. And that's not that's not a good uh good cop to to pull you over. The one that's uh, what's the word? Uh, an angry old bastard. Yeah, who's just pissed off, and no matter what you do or say or did, he's you're getting something. Um, right. And then, aside from that, I would say I don't really know how like police training goes. I'm sure it varies drastically between departments and states and and all that stuff. But I think that a uh, a well formed, maybe longer. I don't know how long was uh your sister's like boot camp training camp whatever she went through um i think a few months a few months okay like, so that's my pretty tech good. school was three months well, that was my thought process is like a military style and or length of training right not necessarily meaning you need military training but just like the length of it the extent of it maybe more hip to hip training and field work before you're out on your own kind of stuff like with a partner with kind of thing? with a, a tenured person yeah yeah mm-hmm. right so here's a thought i had my next question was how much do you think they should make so you answer that and, and then i'll give you my um, thoughts on i'd say a base like rookie salary should be i'd say anywhere from 60 to seventy thousand dollars a year Okay, and what are they average? Probably like forty to sixty, depending on where you start. Yeah, and what department you're in, and what part of the country you're in. Like, I think down here is like sheriffs are like forty, forty five, starting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my whole thought with that is that you know everyone wants to defund the police and reform them and and you know this and that, but you got to think like, what are you getting? You're getting someone that's twenty one. Mm-hmm. who doesn't necessarily have to have any educational background, mm-hmm. just a clean record, mm-hmm. and and to pass a very minimal psychologic evaluation and be fit. And that's to my point of maybe they need that, that tenure, or they need that training in the field for a long time with somebody who's been doing it for a while. Like I'm not saying like you go with somebody for like a few months and you're good. I'm saying like after a year of being hip to hip with somebody, that kind of thing. Right. Well. So my, my argument with that was, what if you pay them more and what if you have these educational requirements and you get more qualified people in the door instead of just some dude that's 21 that doesn't know what the hell he's doing, who's able to pass a test, give them 80 grand a year, tell them they need a bachelor's. Like, don't you think I do. things would be a little bit better? I do. Because it, it is one of those where they're like, oh, we're always looking for new recruits. Yeah, because you're hiring them at 19 years old and 
Right. And you're paying them crap. Saying, hey, put put your life on the line for 25 bucks an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you're so you're losing people you left and right cuz it's yeah. not sustainable. Plus it's stressful work. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like, hey, I got a deal for you. You might die. Mm -hmm. The hours are really bad. You don't have much of a a personal life. You're not going to make that much money. You're mentally and physically going to be exhausted every day, all day. Yeah. In in the eyes of the public, you're going to look terrible, no matter how good you are at your job. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Yeah, sign me up. Mm -hmm. Like, Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I agree with every point you said. Yeah. Respect the ones that do it, but. So, uh, th- those were afterthought questions. I, I, I had okay. a couple, I had a couple funny things beforehand, but I figured I would, uh, get a little bit discussion out of that. Okay. Okay. Um, so what, what percentage of the population do you think has committed a crime? Um, I would say probably everybody has, that's like, if I had to take an average, like 10 years, eh, maybe like 11 years old and up, probably everybody has. Okay. Something so like I that. have so like pretty well, high. This, I'd say like in like the eighties, like eighty something percent, maybe ninety percent. Okay, so that's that tracks with me. So I have approximately seventy-seven million Americans, or one in every three adults, have a criminal record. But record, that yeah. But you think how many don't? I'd I'd guess it's probably I higher mean, than that. I committed four crimes on my way home from the golf course today. I was doing fifty and a forty-five. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So probably 90 plus then. Mm-hmm. I like it. And the and the kids um, thing was like for me it was like like the petty thing like oh I took a candy bar from the store or like Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to say um, 90ish. Have you ever wanted to be a cop or thought about it? Um Yeah. Not recently and not in Florida. But I, I did it in Maryland for a little bit, but I then I yeah. then I thought it through and went I like I like <laughs> not money. a good time. I like money. Not a good place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And your life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if if you were a cop, mm-hmm. would you turn a family member in for murder? Um so mom comes to you, she's like, uh well, maybe not even murder, because I, I think that's you have to have intent. Mom calls you and she's like, CJ, I just ran over someone and I freaked out and I sped away. Are you like, uh, Sarge, my mom just killed yeah. someone? Yeah. Like, right, yeah. Let's, uh, yeah. Yeah. You're not, you're not covering for? Her? Well, cause then I'm going down. Well, if she gets caught, I mean, come on. <laughs> also, she wouldn't run away. That's a bad example. Well, <laughs> Okay, Dad. I don't know. Would Dad no, run away? No. <laughs> or you got family members that would be like, what, what, this what if it was like, like like a cousin? You would probably turn them in. Yeah, I think I would. Or what if you called? That's me? what I went with Mom because you're like, mm. what if I if I called you? Yeah, and said I just okay. So I called you. Or no, you like, you call your sister. Do you think she? What does she do? It's a good question. Hmm. We, maybe we need a cop on the show at one point this week. Yeah. Or these weeks. These weeks, yeah. We only... We only week. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, this is it for this week. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't have enough time to text her and respond. She might even be working. Maybe next week I'll try to... We'll, we'll revisit this segment. I don't know what she would do. What do you think she would do? I think there's celery in this. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it because I like it, so... Oh, I do see the little giblets that you're talking about, though. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so you're I turning them in. What that, do you think she's doing? She would... I think she'd try to cover the best she could for you in the moment, but knowing her... I think eventually she would convince you that you need to go turn yourself in, or call, or go back to the scene. She, could, she couldn't, though. What do you mean? She could try to convince me. Yeah. I'm not going to be convinced. Yeah, then I think at that point she would go, all right, well. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. I think she's the type of person that's like, okay, I won't say anything, but if they ask me, I'm going to say it. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then she goes into work the next day, and she's like, 
my brother killed someone. <laughs> no, I don't seek that at all. I think I do. <laughs> my brother killed someone. <laughs> it Jenna, was how you doing? Like, oh, my brother killed someone. It wasn't me. I didn't know about it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, no, I think I don't that, think she's. Uh, I think she'd get all the answers and questions like, "Where are you now? What's happening? Where are you? Where is the person? Did they get up?" She'd go through every possible scenario yeah. with you and be like, "Well, David, you need to fucking call and call this in." Like, mm. see, she's already wrong for she. She should have. I hung up the phone the second I said that, took the battery out, thrown the phone in the ocean, and <laughs> went and got a burner, called me back. Changed departments, moved to a different already, state. Yeah. yeah. She's I actually she's don't already. have a brother. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's a good question. We'll have to ask her. Uh, you know what's going to be really yeah. funny is when we do, she's going to go, yeah, I'd fucking turn you in. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I don't give a shit. We just, that's your own dumbass fault. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly yeah. what she's going to say. Don't call me from jail, motherfucker. Yeah. That's exactly what she's going to say. <laughs> <sighs> well, the, the last thing I had on that topic is... uh. What if part of becoming a cop was you had to rat rat out a crime a family member committed? Would you do it? Yeah, I'd just say, hey, my dad was speeding the other day. No, like an actual crime. Mm. Like a like a felony? No, nah, it doesn't have to be a felony. Just, you know, something more than a slap on the wrist. Mm. Like, I need an example of what it is. Like breaking and entering. Just picturing my seventy-five-year-old dad. <laughs> <So> like, <laughs> well, he could have done it when he was forty. Yeah, that's true. Or he had some. He had some some Vietnam stories. I'm sure he broke some kind of crime over there. Yeah. Uh, nah, nah. And that's yeah. that's that's what it took for me to become a cop was to was to snitch. Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, not nah, new career. Yeah, like I'm gonna be a yeah, be a crossing guard. <laughs> <laughs> you got, but you have to tell them every time. Someone in your family jaywalked. <laughs> yeah, to get the job. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go work security at Wawa. Yeah, that's right. Oh, dude, I love seeing those guys when I go in there. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so the, I stop on the way to work. This I, I stop at Wawa just about every morning, grab my burrito and my coffee. Yeah. And th- this morning I walked in. Does uh, your security guard uh, have like like janitor size set of keys on his hip? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're kind it's of shaped very, like a janitor. It's very too. comical. Yeah, yeah. But this morning I walked in behind a cop like they were standing in like the, you know, you walk in the first door, you walk in the second door. The security yeah. guard was in like that middle threshold there. And I walked in behind a cop and they said yeah. good morning to the cop. And uh-huh. I was like, it's got to feel so like, <laughs> see, at that point, I wouldn't even say anything. I would just like hold the door. And if he said thanks, I'd be like, you're welcome. And that's it. Yeah. I feel like that's like diminishing your career. Like, like the cop treated career. You like you're just a fucking <laughs> greeter at Walmart. Like, no, Wawa. <laughs> no, I'm saying you're treated like a greeter at Walmart because you held the door open and you're like, have a good day. You give him a little sticker with a smiley face on it and you're like, I wish I could be you, but I have a criminal record, so I'm here. So are you saying that he wouldn't say good morning to other people if they weren't cops? No, I just I, I think they were being polite, but you just yeah. you know they gotta have that like deep down feeling like, you know, I yeah. wanted to be you, but yeah. I ended up at Wawa instead yeah. of I know. ate those mushrooms on accident and ran yeah. over that person and here I am. Yeah, mm-hmm. the the uh the polygraph wasn't very kind to me. Right, <laughs> right, right. I was great in the physical exam, but that that uh written test wasn't it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I can't spell. Although my guy at what my Wawa would uh it'd be the opposite. <laughs> he did not pass the physical test. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Yeah, he's like ninety four. <laughs> yeah, <He's, laughs> poor guy. Yeah, mm. secure. Well, that's all I had as far as uh, police stuff. We'll have to, I'll have to get in touch with Janet and figure out a Wednesday she's available to, mm-hmm. to tell me how shitty of a sister she is. <laughs> yeah, fuck no, I would call the yeah, I'd turn you in. Yeah, absolutely, I'll have Dad on the other end. Like he'd probably go. I would too, David. <laughs> well, he already told he told me if you ever caught me smoking weed, he'd arrest me himself. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, if you did it now, it's legal in Maryland. So, hey, I'm not in Maryland. Yeah, it's true. It's funny how it's legal there and not <laughs> uh, here. Yeah, I also uh, can't do it anyway. Mm, yeah. Work work purposes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, well, before we get into whatever else, let's, uh, your beer's probably empty, huh? It's not full. I'm looking at the celery right now. I guess you can't really, uh. It kind of looks like that fake grass you get in your Easter basket on Easter. You can't really review a glass, can you? You got this white shit? Look like seafoam kind of 
Yeah, but you don't have like the little green pieces at the bottom. I don't know. It's dark in here. All I got is this ring light. It looks like it. Oh no, you built mine are like celery stalks. I don't know what the fuck that is. No. Hmm. Why don't you tell these people what we're drinking? Bear. Bear. We are drinking from Prairie Artisan Ales. We've had them a few times in the past, actually. Um, it's called Patches. Uh, sour ale with sour gummy candy. So like a Sour Patch Kids certified colors and F, D, and C yellow number five. Let me ask you a question. Yep. What's a certified color? Um, I guess this shit green <laughs> is certified. This shit literally says sour ale with sour gummy candy. Certified colors and FDNC yellow number five. And your boy giving him a wedgie on the front. <laughs> so I wonder if that's Lou Bega in the middle and that's like Sandra and Monica on the side of him. Oh, or I don't know. The, the one on the right kind of looks like that's a Rita. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that, that tracks. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not where you're going. Where were you going? Uh, like. Kenny Rogers. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, speaking of be, okay, this uh-huh. is uh, it's from McAllister, Oklahoma. Wait. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of states after that, but that's where you can get five cents. Yeah. And we're in one of those states. How about that? Brewed and canned by Krebs Brewing Company. Krebs. So we're. Were all the prairie artisan ales brewed by someone else or no, canned I, by? That is a, a question for another day. I couldn't tell you that. Hmm. Interesting. It's pretty darn well, good, though. Yeah, you've been you've been telling them that uh, there's like fucking celery bits in it the whole time, dude. There's even more now. There's so many. Look at the bottom of your glass. Is there nothing in there now that you poured a new one? It's like hazy. I can't see. It looks like a tornado of like. I don't know if it's like pieces of candy at the bottom or like Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to give it? It's pretty darn good and pretty true to that sour patch flavor. Yeah, I can definitely taste um, the uh certified colors. But it's very sweet. It's very sweet. Um I'd probably be in a, like a 7.7 7 range if I had to Seven seven five seven seven five. Okay, like it's not it's not great, but it's not terrible either. It's it's on that brink of like this is really good. It's close. It's close. It's gonna give it like an eight two five. Oh, you like it more than me? <laughs> yeah, I it's do. okay. It's like I won't buy it again. It's just a little too sweet for me. I would if I saw it. I'm uh. I'd- I'd order I it. Probably if give it was it like higher than that, but I think I'm gonna. Yeah, we'll stick. We'll stick there. Eight two. Definitely, s- definitely sweet. I can feel the the, the sticky. Yeah, c- celery, whatever I'm drinking here. Mine looks a lot greener than yours too. Let me. Well, maybe not. Like hold it farther away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The camera doesn't really do it justice, but it's kind of like a. Like a green Gatorade color with celery. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> the whole bottom uh, of my glass. I'll take a picture of it and send it to yeah, you. Yeah, because uh, mine's... Like, it's green, but it's not like... Green. Yeah, green. Green. So, all right, so I got a game for you. Okay. I have two piles here. Two piles of boxes. One box as the name of a person... And the second box has an action. Mm -hmm. I want you to pick a number from the first pile of boxes and a number from the second pile of boxes. And I want you to act it out. I'm not following yet, but okay. So go ahead and and pick a number from from the first pile, one through ten. Okay, that's going to be number number one. That's LeBron James. Okay. Now pick... A number from the second pile. I'm going to go number three. Scheduling a doctor appointment. I want you to act out LeBron James scheduling a doctor's appointment. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, you're the, you're the doctor. I'm calling you. I'm the doctor. Yeah. 
or the you're like the receptionist. Yep. Bring, bring, bling, bling. Thank you for calling Flops General. How can I help you? Yeah, this is the king. Uh, I need a, I need a spot <laughs> in immediately. Okay, Mr. King. Uh, can I have your date of birth? No. Okay. Um, sir, I need to know how to look you up. Look me up. Look on ESPN, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Uh. So can I get in? <laughs> uh, yes, sir. We'll see you uh, this Thursday at 4 p.m. All right. <laughs> Debbie, I don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't like this king. <laughs> All right. Give me, uh, give me two more numbers. Let's go with six. Okay. And nine. <laughs> six is Tom Brady. Okay. Nine is nine is negotiating the price of a used vehicle. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call I'm gonna call you again. You don't want to be on the lot? No, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you because okay. I saw it on I saw it online. Bling 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 bling. Hi, thanks for calling Manning Automotives. How can we help you? Hey, I saw this car um on your website and it is the cutest little button of a car. I just see myself in it driving and it says it's for two thousand, but I want to see if you could do it for fifteen hundred. Um, let me, let me check with my manager. Can you, can you give me the, uh, the vehicle? Oh, of course I can, honey. That vehicle is the Hyundai Santa Fe 2004. All right. Give me, give me one second. Oh, no problem. Hey, Josh, I think it's Brady calling again. He wants a, (laughs) he wants a cheaper price on that Hyundai. Okay. I'll let him know. You still there, sugar? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I I just, I just spoke with him. Um, he said, if you answer one question, question correctly he'll give it to you oh sure no problem go right ahead who's the best quarterback of all time oh of course you're gonna ask me that (laughs) silly goose i knew that of course best quarterback of all time is is that guy that i came in before uh what was his name uh drew (laughs) drew drew head so head head blow oh no that's what Uh. i'm doing right now i'm blowing head uh (laughs) Drew Bledsoe, that's who it was. Yeah, he's the best. All right, all right Tom, I got another, I got another customer. Uh, tell Giselle I said, hey. Okay, I will. <laughs> I think I went to blind deaf guy on that one from Family Guy. <laughs> I, okay, yeah, that's, I will. that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> all right, let's do one more. One more. Mm-hmm. All right, give me number, give me Mambo number five. Okay. And uh, give me number four. All right, uh, number five is Oprah. And number four mm. is checking out at the grocery store and your coupons expired. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm walking up with my little basket of goodies. Okay. Hey, honey, how you doing? I'm Good. Just, how are you today? Be, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I just want to, uh, it's got these couple things here, you know. I'm okay. Did you sure. find everything okay today? I did. I did. It was pretty easy out there today. Not too many people. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, I got this coupon for this, uh, for this, uh, uh, this cucumber, um, and I wanted to <laughs> want to see if I could <laughs> use this for uh, it's oh, half sure. off. Let me, half let me, off. Let me go ahead and scan that for you. Are oh, you thank you, you. You trying to turn it into a pickle, or are you making a? You making? A <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get pickled, all right. <laughs> uh, bleep. Uh, uh. I'm sorry, ma'am. This coupon actually expired a week ago. Oh, can't you just do it anyway? You know, uh, I am Oprah. You know who I am, right? Oh, so you can afford it even without the coupon? You know what? I'm just going to buy this grocery store real quick. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Didn't you give everybody in your audience Corvettes one time? This this cucumber is only 79 cents. Listen, bitch. Give me half <laughs> off that cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, we can't help you. Well, you can give this. I'm going to give this check to your owner. And guess what? You ain't gonna be working here no more. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm taking this cucumber with me. Okay. Officers! <laughs> She's stealing! <laughs> <laughs> Old Larry from Wawa comes running down the aisle. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> janitor keys dangling. Uh, that was good. I like that. I'll we'll have to, to yeah. keep that one on. I like my Tom Brady. That was pretty good. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> Okay, so for Ask Reddit this week, I went with what song makes you drive way too fast? Mm, you already know. I already know yours is Start It Up. Start it up. Start it up. By Lloyd Beasy. 
OL Banks. Um, I just kind of came across this one too, and I thought it'd be a good one. I don't drive too fast unless you're behind cow shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, that was a poor choice. That was a poor um, <laughs> it was. It was, <laughs> it was a very poor choice. It made a, this is a bad decision. Um, too fast. Probably something like, like if like Enter Sandman or like Master of Puppets or like some like heavy metal that hits really good, like comes on my Pandora. I'm just like, oh, hell yeah. And just like cruising down, just yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Okay. Um, so a few I got are uh Black Betty. Bam Balam. Uh huh. Oh, it's a good one. Tokyo Drift. I wonder if you know how and if it Tokyo. If you see me, then you need me, then you know you have to go. That's superior. Kinda kind of same, but not same. Uh, Danza Kudoro is another one that like Ooh. that's my like get going song. But if yeah. it comes on the car, I'm also like yeah. This next one kind of hits with my uh, metal one, which is Dragula by Rob Zombie. That's a good one. Okay. Um. Oh, heavy metal, Motorhead, Ace of Spades. Um, any sad song by Billie Eilish? Like you want to drive faster so you crash? Yeah. What? Okay. Uh, dueling banjos. I can imagine that sounding pretty cool, just like a yeah. you know, uh, rocket by Def Leppard, Reptilia by The Strokes, okay. Heidi He, Heidi Ho, hit that goblin with your old banjo. I don't know what that means. I don't either. Uh, <laughs> Headstrong is another one for me. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, this one said anything by uh, Dragon Force. Okay. That's a good one. Uh, 96 Quite Bitter Beings is another one for me. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Running in the 90s. Born to Run in the 90s. by Bruce Springsteen. Uh, Free Bird, that's a good one. When that solo hits and you're just cruising down the road. Yeah, I might go from like 70 to 74, maybe. Another Running in the 90s. Um, oh, this is actually one of mine. Here we go. Kickstart My Heart, Motley Crue. That's a good one. I will jam the hell out of that. Um, okay, that's that like uh, whoa, yeah, can't drop it up, baby, whoa, ah, uh, yeah, baby, and the guitar. So, anyways, animals by I'll, Nickelback. I'll auto tune that one too. There you go. Uh, <laughs> two chains, we own it from Fast and Furious. Okay, and Barbie Girl by Aqua is the last one. Mm, yeah, are you? I'll, to be honest, the the new one, the uh, I'm good. Instead of I'm blue. Yeah. That I'm good. Yeah. I'm yeah. feeling it. that. I'll jam to that for sure. Yeah. Same. That's a, that's, that's a good a cruise. Staple. That's a good cruising song. Yeah. 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 Huh. Okay. That's all I yeah, got. I'm, I'm sticking with Lloyd. Yeah. I'm sticking with my, my heavy that's metal. A, it's just, it's like something just gets into my foot and it's just like, mm. <laughs> it's like, ugh. vroom, vroom. Maybe like the vroom, vroom part. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah, he, he literally says vroom vroom start yeah. it up. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, I'm already started, but I can vroom vroom for you. I do remember you um, sending me that song because I'd never heard it before when I was driving down to visit you that one year. Yeah, you're like, like, you're like, I'm you're leaving like, now. I was like, what's you're your like, ETA? Just, you're like, just uh, play this. this. Yeah. yeah. And just, put this on repeat and you'll cut two hours off your time. Yeah. That was the worst drive of my life. Well, but also not? Yeah. Well, because I came right after work, so I left at like 6 p.m. <clears> from Maryland. Yeah. Got there, what, like 8 or 9 a.m.? Something like that. And then slept for maybe a couple hours, and then we proceeded to just party all day and night? Yeah. So that was rough. My Ask Reddit this week's a little different. So this guy, he had posted, without saying what the category is, what are your top five? And people would list their top five, and he would guess what the top five were. Oh, so you're going to give me the top five, see if I can guess the, what it is? Yeah, except they weren't legitimate guesses. They were just really funny guesses. So okay, okay. If you want to try to out-funny this guy. Okay, I'm I ready. Think that would be good. I'm ready. Um, so the first one is silicone, glass, ABS hard plastic, steel, and aluminum. Uh, best top five... Uh, materials to make butt plugs out of something like that. 
So he said top five things that should be used for breast implants. Mm-hmm. So close. Okay. I'll give I'll give okay. you on a on a laugh factor. I'll I'll give you guys even. Like a good seven. Um, hard, wet, rapid fire, pressed against the surface, and silent. Uh, his top five ways he likes to shoot his his rifle. This guy said top five ways to describe both an orgasm and a fart. Oh, I like the <laughs> fart one. That's good. <laughs> Uh, the next one is 69 cowgirl froggy style doggy style and missionary I mean I think obvious answer but what would be the funny play off of that Um, his top five I got nothing I got nothing he said the top five ways to play twister at a family cookout (laughs) man I got I got a gang of them, so I'll just I'll give okay. them to you. And if you don't have anything right off the bat, then I'll just give them to you. I'm cool. Okay. The next one is tacos, sleeping in, dogs, Bugs Bunny, and Mario Kart. Top five things from my childhood in the nineties. He said the top five things the Trump administration has vowed to ban. Taco Bell? Oh fuck. <laughs> the, the next one is blind, deaf, missing limbs, old, and returned. Uh, top my my top five uh Barbie uh nah, I got nothing. He said the top five descriptors for residents of Florida. Oh, <laughs> damn! <laughs> Returned. I like that. That's good. Uh, the next one. The next one is elephants. My hubby, Ferengi, Ferengi, Ferengi. There's our can't fucking say it. Uh, Roger Rabbit and Dobby. Things with dry ass skin. He said the top five things you didn't know could be gay. <laughs> My hubby. <laughs> My hubby. <laughs> Next one is yoga pants, 10 out of 10 with rice, HQG, Nicolas Cage, and Leroy Jenkins. My top five memories from my acid trip last night? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he said the, the top five reasons I'm sticky. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> okay. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> uh, all right, the, ne- the next one is Penne, Fusilli, Farfalle, Manicotti, and Conchigli. Uh, top five names for my unborn daughter. He said, <laughs> he said top five Italian football players. <laughs> uh, all right, I got two more. Okay. Lions, Cavaliers, Tigers, Wolverines and Jaguars. Uh, animals I would want to have as like a, you know how you have like a like a bear mat in front of your fireplace. Okay, like their like their their fur, their skin. He said top five names for women over forty pursuing men in their twenties. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> uh, and I save the save the best for last. Um, Adidas, Nike, Jordan, Reebok, and Vans. Top five uh, child labor companies. The top five opportunities for employment before you turn 18 in Southeast yeah. Asia. Yeah, I got it. All right. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Okay. Yeah, that was good. I like that. <laughs> uh, I'm getting all my vegetables in this. I think they're like sour bits. Sour bits? You could call them that too. Sour giblets. I have some questions for you. Movie related questions? Yep. Okay. So what is the famous quote from Forrest Gump? Run, Forrest, run? The other one. Life's like a box of chocolates? Yeah. So say the the full quote. Isn't that all he says? Life's like a box of chocolates. Some people would say so, but the actual quote is life was like a box of chocolates. Oh, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Was like a box of chocolates. Was like a box Not of chocolates. Life is like. like a, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. So what's the famous quote from the Wizard of Oz? We're not in Kansas anymore? Yeah, that's what they'd have you believe. Okay. But they actually say, Toto, I, don't I have think- a feeling... I have we're a not, feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Okay. Okay. 
what's the famous quote from Jaws? So I so first obvious thought, and we'll see if I can get it, is going to be we're going to need a bigger boat, but that's not it. Obviously, with the trend we're going here. So he says, I know the scene. I'm watching it in my head right now. What does he say in your head? He's he's chumming. He's chumming away in the back. And then he Jaws says, pops up and he just starts backing into the cabin. And he says, I don't think he says anything. Well, when he does say something like this boat's not big enough, something like that. He says, you're going to need a bigger you're boat. You're going to need a bigger boat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The next one is, what's the famous quote from the Field of Dreams? So, all right. So, you want me to say, if you build it, they will come. I want you to say what you think it is. But I know what it is. If you build it, he will come. Okay. So, you knew that he's talk, He's talking about his dad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the famous quote from Silence of the Lambs? Hello, Clarice? That's what they'd have you believe. Or is it, I like to eat it with a nice can of farber beans and a key ante. No. It's, <laughs> okay. It's, <laughs> you had the quote, you just had it wrong. Okay, okay. It's actually, good evening, Clarice. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Right, two more. Okay, I like this. What's the famous quote from Snow White? Hi-ho, hi-ho. It's off no, it's the start, we it's, go. It starts with mirror, mirror. With hand grenades and razor blades, hi-ho. Um, okay, so that one would be Mirror Mirror on the Wall, who is the fairest of them all, but it is, I don't think they ever say Mirror Mirror, right? Right. That's okay. That's a common misconception because I think I've heard that before. They say in Shrek, yeah. Right, right, right. Right when Farquaad gets a boner. You remember that scene? Yep. Oh, he's like, oh, whoopsies. (laughs) Just just finished walking through St. Jude. (laughs) Okay. All right. Calm down. So what does he actually say? Um, Mirror. Who's the fairest of them all? Something like that. He says magic mirror. Magic mirror. Who's the fairest of them all? Okay. Yeah. And the last one is the famous quote from Star Wars. I would Mr. assume you're saying, Luke, I am your father. Correct. What did he actually say would be? He never says Luke. What does he say? He says, but I am your father. Something like that. He says, no, I am your father. No, I am your father. Okay. Okay. I like those. Those were good. Yeah, that was good. There was, there was more. I grabbed those because those are the ones that I'd seen. Um, <laughs> You've never seen Field of Dreams. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> or maybe I'm just thinking of Eight-Legged Freaks. When, you know, but to we be fair, back to that. Field of Dreams has the same guy who's playing Darth Vader in it. There you go. Some James Earl Jones action. There you go. There you go. I have some things that you can say both during sex and to an esports kid. Okay. Can I think of some of them? Yeah. Or if you have any that come to mind. Fuck you. <laughs> you're supposed to finish with that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's one. You're supposed to finish with that. <laughs> Is this your first time? Not. No. Um, no, nah, I got nothing. Okay. So I have a. Uh, do you always need a walkthrough for this? Mm, I like that. Yeah. Uh, I have, is your controller broken or are you always this bad? Okay. Okay. I've seen NPCs with better moves. <laughs> <laughs> I have even on easy mode. This is disappointing. Just, just give him the finger the whole time. Well, I gave, I gave him the slow raise while you were saying all those. <laughs> we'll keep going. Give him, give him slow left, right. I have uh, six more. Is this why you play single player games? I thought you'd last longer than a speed run. You can't just hit the reset button here. Are you stuck on the tutorial? Your joystick skills need serious work. And you play like you're lagging in real life. A uh, fuck you! We out. Yeet. <clears throat> I got a good job. I work hard for my money. When it's quitting time, I hit the door running. Fire up that pickup truck and let them horses run. Drive out to that hideaway. Or drive out. Wait. Let them horses run. Going down the highway to that hideaway.
somewhere in the woods doing the boot scoot boogie.